Hi everybody, it's Saul. So, okay, the thing is, um, you'll notice why I suddenly have short hair. Um, I finally got it cut yesterday, and here it is. <gasps> oh! Okay, I have a particular reason as to why I cut my hair. Um, the thing is, throughout my whole life, um, and I seriously mean my whole life, these past 18 years, um, I was never able to cut my hair. And I've always kept it long. So today, I decided to embrace the new me and take the f uh, a huge leap forward from my past. So goodbye past and hello presentness. As um, as for the new hairdo, I actually think that um, I like it. You know, I'm proud of it and. I'm gonna keep it this way. I think it's. I think it's a really big step for me. And as for those of you who think that you, short hair is ugly, or that you rather prefer me with longer hair, well then f you, because I think I like me the way I am. Anyways, it was not like I had any trouble with it before. It's just, it's a different sort of acceptance. Anyways. About today, I've been doing a whole lot of stuff. Um, as a new me, I was actually able to go out on my very first and official date. And I've gotten excited because I got a new something for you guys. And I think you might like it. Aka Isabella! Yes, Kelvin Ryder! Anyways, caress. Okay. <laughs> well. My boyfriend was kind enough to get this for me. And surprisingly, it fits. So, while we were on our date today, we actually got batteries for it and it works. You just hold it and you can hench it and, and it works. Look, 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 look. Yes! So, you know, I'm thinking I'm gonna bring this to school tomorrow. I'm gonna amaze it because I could just like. Dial the numbers one nine one three and then hash it. Now, in order to do that, you know how it works. Snip it in. I felt empowered. Anyways, yeah, <laughs> that's it. I got a new um, kite belt and it's great. I mean, I haven't forgotten about my exome. It's nice, but you know, it's um, as you guys say, well, I'll, yeah, I'm just gonna call it my term, it's fake. But I like it anyways, because it's the very first one that I have. This one's actually from Japan, which is cool. Second hand, but still pretty cool. So I got I got a lot of stuff, and I also got a Where's Wally book. Right now it's all the way up there, so I won't be bothered, like I couldn't be bothered to get it. But I'm keeping it for the future, because you know how, um, you know how new generation they're not going to be able to appreciate um, the days of the old. So I decided to keep it and screw the minds of the children. <laughs> but you know how where where's Wally is. You could spend hours just looking for Wally. Anyways, <laughs> um, I've also watched... Um, there, I actually went to watch Catching Fire, the second book of The Hunger Games. You know, I, I'm not a hipster. There's a reason as to why I watched it. You know, I watched it with my boyfriend because I wanted to see how bad everyone says it is. Because you know how they copy it up with Battle Royale and everything. And, and I let him be the critic because you know he's watching it a lot more than I have. And he said it's a, it's a better adaptation because you know present times uh, a lot more high tech stuff, so you can make it look a little bit cool. However, the concepts. You know, it's it still doesn't change the fact that it's been copied off of. Anyways, um, I went to the new fully book at ATC. Uh, not so, it's not so bad there, but I did take a look at the comics up in the, uh, in the like the top four. And I was just like, whoa, it's a girl. Well, it's a girl. <laughs> but the thing is, um, <clears throat> I was thinking of getting a gambit. Uh, comic from my brother, a classic one, because he loves Gambit. The problem is like, <clears throat> there wasn't really many in stock, maybe like five or three. It's not really much. Anyways, if you guys have any like, uh, if you guys have any ideas of where I can find some classic 
okay, I'm bad at comic books, then please tell me so I can get some for my brother. <clears throat> Anyways, about other stuff for today. Oh, I got those little toy soldiers! You know those little toy soldiers from your childhood? These little guys? Oh man, they're the best! I got them! Well, actually, they're on sale on Toys R Us. We got them at like, um, what you wanna call it? Uh, oh, for sale! Sorry, my, my brother is actually taking a video of this and he wants me to do that. Anyways, I got this for sale as like Toys for Us. Well, he got this for sale as Toys for Us. And it was like 30 pesos only. That's actually pretty good. Because you know when we went there, that sale was like crazy. It's like 70% off, 50% off. You get it, but it's still again. Filipinos. <laughs> okay. Uh, not that I embrace the Filipino pie. I'm being honest. I'm anti-nationalistic. Anyways. That's it. And I also got a Play-Doh! Yes, Play-Doh! My childhood! <laughs> Anyways, um, other stuff. We ate at Burger King. Yes, Burger King. Well, you got a problem with that? After Burger King, <laughs> we also went to eat at Amici's. Good old Italian. Pricey stuff, but good and worth it. We got some like rosemary chicken and some spinach ravioli. Although I totally forgot the um, Italian name for that. But anyways, the event of the day was the greatest and the most memorable. I love you. Bye!